everyone so I am going to I'm going so crazy I am going to film a pin curl tutorial because um, I feel like I should I kind of want to I've been wanting to oh so this is my hair naturally it's just my hair is naturally really straight that's just kind of how it is it's thick and it's straight so yeah um, I'm gonna tell you what you will need I have clips like this, um, they're duckbill clips, they're the big guys. I have these, these are what I use, the double prong clips. Um, and I also have bobby pins. You can use bobby pins, um, but bobby pins tend to leave marks in your hair. But if that's all you have and you want to do it, then go ahead. I primed my hair already. Um, I used a couple things that I like to use um, to ensure that my curls will last a long time. Um, I use this Lotta Body Setting Lotion. Here's this. You need a couple, like, has it on the back, but if you use two parts of this, you can, you'll can you need three parts water. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, no, it's two to three parts water, one part this. So, just kind of depending on how much hair you have this and that. Um, I used an old product bottle that I had and this is what color it looks like just so you can kind of get a feel. Um, and I also used the Vintage Glam Curling Iron Cream. Um, you get this at Sally's. So here's this. You just do a couple pumps of this into your hand and then I just kind of go like this and then um, go all over but I always kind of go away from my roots though or the front part of my roots because I already have greasy mama hair so I don't want more just in case because my hair gets really greasy really fast and then uh, for a um, leave-in um, heat tamer heat tamer I've always used this Tresemme one for Years and years and years, I just always used it. It's what, it's, work, it's what works best for me. God, I'm tongue tied today. I don't know what's going on. But um, I use this and I use that all over. And then, like, the bottom half of my hair, since I have it's a bit drier on the bottom half, I use the Vintage Glam Thermal Shine Spray. Again, you can get this at Sally's because um, it does add some shine. So I have shine all throughout my hair, except the ends are usually pretty dull. So. I just spray it and um, it goes away and I use this wet brush and just brush out my hair so I'm good to go and the brush it oh and um, for the end for styling I use Suavecita always and it looks like this I'm sure you all have heard of it um, it's basically it it replaces your hairsprays and gels and everything so you only have to use one product it smells incredible they make suavecito for men um, and yeah so I use this but I always um, no matter what will lock it in with the suave extreme hold level 10 my fiance actually put me onto that because he's always used it and um, I used it one time and I really enjoyed it so there's that, and then the combs, brushes, everything I use. Um, like I said, I use the wet brush just to like brush out all um, my hair and tangles at the beginning. And then um, I go in with this Denman brush um, when I'm styling my hair at the end. And I have this smoothing brush I got from Target. I think it's from Goody. Or no, I think it was the Up and Up brand, I want to say. But it's uh, a bristle brush. And it really smooths out my hair. It's really nice. And um, the combs I use, I have a Suavecito brush. Um, my fiance does, uses it when he pumps his hair. Um, Hopefully it'll focus. So that's very cool. Um, I'm just gonna come like this. So when I go to make my sections and 
combing. I like to do that. And I also have a um, rat tail comb. Um, this is a gift. I don't know. You can always get these anywhere though. And um, I have one of these kind of brushes to brush up my hair again at the end. So without further ado, let, oh, and I also have some rubber bands for sectioning. So now without further ado, let's get started. Hey everyone, so I'm doing my first ever voiceover, so hopefully this will work out. So right now I'm just parting sections. I do my top like crown section, two sides and a back. I like to work in sections, sometimes they're not super clean, sometimes they're kind of crazy. <laughs> You'll see in this video that my hair kind of goes all over the place, but it works out in the end. I didn't say which curling iron I use. That's probably the most important thing you need. I have a one inch Hot Tools curling iron. It's like the rainbow one. I thought this one was really cool. Um, I know my hair is black so this might be kind of hard to see. Um, I have the lighting the best it's going to be for me. Um, wow. Everything's dropping as soon as I try to fix it. Um, so hopefully Can, ah, you can bear with me um, again I know it's kind of hard but I will certainly do my best so I start on the left section first today and then I take about one inch sections going from um, bottom to top just so it can be a little bit cleaner um, I, it kind of varies for me. Sometimes it's sort of the top or the left, um, the left side of my head, excuse me. It really varies on how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I just do like one inch sections here and there. Um, I, sometimes I let the curl fall and then I will wrap it back up and pin it or I'll like, I'll let it go in my hand. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling or, um, if I'm in a rush, I don't know why that would matter, but sometimes it does if I'm just kind of in a rush. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a stacking me uh, a stacking method, excuse me, um, and I'm doing horizontal horizontal curls. Um, it's kind of stacked like that. And in case anybody was wondering, that awesome Lady in the Tramp painting I got at um, Disney's California Adventure. I got it at the Off the Page store next to the Animation Academy. That wall, I have a bunch of paintings I got from there. So just in case anybody ever wonders. <laughs> okay, so I just keep going and then I do my sections with my rat tail and I start from the middle of... Um, middle of my hair and I'll curl then get some more curl get some more just like how you'll see Now I'm starting on the right side of my head doing the same exact method. For some reason, I don't know if this is just me or if other people have this um, problem, but the right side of my head is always a little bit trickier than the left. I don't really know why. Um, it's really weird. I don't know. Um, and if you keep wondering why I sniffle or I sound weird or I keep it to my nose, I do have allergies, um, so just in case. I'm not picking my nose, I swear. I'm not picking my nose, but I just have pretty bad allergies. Um, yeah, so again, just the stacking method, um, horizontal curls, and see how that section just came apart like crazy. That's just kind of what happens.
really annoying I didn't realize that my camera turned off on exit or it'll overheat so it'll turn off and I didn't realize it but I finished the side and half of this I'm just doing the same exact method all around my hair so I didn't change it up or anything just so you just in case you think you missed something you didn't miss anything I'm doing the same exact all the way through so just so you know again guys I'm really sorry my camera does overheat so it will um, shut off randomly I don't really know what's going on um, but I just finished the right section and then I started on the back again the back is always is a little trickier for me as well but I am starting to get the hang of it and I'm starting to learn different methods so yeah excuse my elbow tattoo it always looks kind of weird but I don't know why I I think um because my elbows are super dry so they always like lots of dead skin so it just kind of comes off and then it looks crazy but I don't know anywho I'm going the same I'm doing again the same whole situation with my hair I kind of want to do the tattoo tag but um I'm not done and I kind of want to wait till I'm done or till I get a couple more pieces I'm not really sure I don't know okay. sorry um uh, my earrings are from Old Navy my new favorite store is Old Navy lately. I don't know. I don't know why. I just kind of randomly went in there. I think I went to the mall with my friend one time. About a couple, maybe six months to almost a year ago, we went to the mall and we went in Old Navy because that was like one of her favorite stores. And then I was like, hey, that's a good store. I'm kind of surprised. That shirt's from Old Navy too. Yeah. I'm just kind of talking to make this not as boring and just seeing me do repetitive motions over and over and over again but yeah I hit my hair not hit it but <laughs> I spray the suave level 10 hairspray all over my hair once I'm done with each section and then now I'm going to do the sides I did have Betty bangs for a pretty long time and I would start to grow them out then I would cut them then I'd grow them out and now I'm in the process of growing them out so the front section of my hair is always kind of a bitch because I have these little short little crazy hairs everywhere and if you see that one hair that's like sticking out on the left side of my hair it is always sticking out like every single day it's sticking out it's crazy I do everything to get that bitch down and just relentless it's funny anyways I clip my bangs out of the hair or what's growing out of my bangs um, just do section section by section I'm watching uh, American Dad on um, Netflix it's one of my favorite shows to binge watch because it's pretty fun and um, another show I like to binge I used to like to binge watch till I finished it is um, Mad Men and um, it's funny because the creator said he didn't want to make a show that you can binge watch, but I binge watch that bitch all the time. Because it's just like the story was so good, you wanted it, you wanted it to keep going and going. It was great. I have Starbucks black tea. I like their black tea a lot. Um, I like iced tea in general. So, and those little gold heart lights are from Target. I'm just kind of pointing around things and telling you where they're from. Almost done. It's like the final kind of stretch. So when your arm starts to get kind of tired and you're kind of over it, you know. Nine o'clock at night. Um, it took me about forty-five minutes or so to do this, which is normal. Um, so, oh, sorry. I think.
think I'm going to eat dinner, kick it for a bit, and then I'm going to come back, let them down, and then show you how I style them. I also, I think I forgot to tell you, I saw it when I was styling and I was like, I think I forgot. But, um, before everything I used this, actually now I think I said it, but I don't know, now I don't remember. Um, but it's a root lifter, um, though my hair is thick and full and crazy. Um, I do still use it just for even more volume for when I style it. Um, and for when I style it, I'm going to be using these from um, L. Got these at Ulta. They're really cool. They kind of I like my curling iron. But anyways, I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry my camera cut out when I was doing half the back. But like I said, it's all the same direction, the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I come back. Bye. So I actually ended up falling asleep last night. We watched Mary Poppins and I just was like, you know what? I am way too tired to deal with this. So I slept on them and now I'm just going to take them out of all the curls all the pins and then I'm gonna go through them with my fingers and I hate when like one of the look hairs gets stuck on a clip and pulls that kills me but okay so now we're gonna get to the styling part which is my favorite obviously and I'm gonna take my Denman brush and just kinda brush through them um, I know some people don't really like to get the curls brushed through, but I do. And then I'm going to take the Suavecito um, comb, and I just kind of made a part, and then back with my Denman brush, and just kind of brushing them out, um, starting to mold and sculpt the hair a little bit. And then I'm going to take my trusty old Suavecita, take a little bit, rub it through my hands, and rub it, run it through my hair and smooth out my side. It does give such a beautiful shine to your hair and it really holds, which I love. And then I brush through my side, again section by section, and then I kind of tease upwards to give me that little fluff, which I love. And I got a little bit more suavecita to hold down that bitch. And a bobby pin, of course. Tuck that behind my ear. And a little bit more teasing and fluffing. And then I'm going to do another section. I'm going to do the back section. And I'm so stupid, and I'm so sorry, guys, but I totally didn't show the back section. But I just did the same method of, like, brushing it, fluffing it, teasing the back. It looks the same as the side. I'm sorry. Again, I'm sorry, guys, but... You know, the front is always the most um, important part of the hair. So I'm taking a little bit more time on that. Then again, teasing and fluffing it, smoothing it out. And then I'm going to just mold it. And then I'm going to take the front part and clip it out of the way so I can work on this a little bit better. to get the shape I want. And I'm never really ever done with my hair. I'm always going to still mess with it. Uh, even when I say that I'm done, I still kind of mess with it at the end. Or uh, after I turn the camera off. Now again, teasing, kind of molding. Again, I'm always messing with I'm just messing with it. And I got my bangs out of the way because they're kind of an issue. Then I do a tease and I smooth it out. Now for the bangs, I'm going to give that guy a quick tease and put him to the side and do the curl. And I accidentally grabbed a couple hairs that were a little too long. Which messed me up, so I take them out, but no worries. Ended up working out anyways. I 
more suavecita always can never go wrong and now I'm just kind of messing with it I'm trying to get the best front I can get spray comb I actually wanted it a little bit higher so that's why I keep messing with it And I found these beautiful shiny pins at Ulta that I was like, oh, those are pretty. So I was just threw one of those bitches in. And there you go, guys. That is the final look. If I ever stop touching my hair. But it is the final look. Um, I hope you guys like it. And if you want me to do any more vintage hairstyling videos, please let me know. And I'll be happy to. Just leave any comments in the comment section, like, subscribe, everything. Thank you guys. Bye.